Black artists have shared exquisite portrayals of the struggles and triumphs of African Americans through their paintings, sculptures, and other artwork. Let's review a few together. Jean-Michel Basquiat was known for his raw, gestural style of painting. He incorporated graffiti-like images and scrawled text in his works. He made many highly stylized self-portraits that addressed his personal anxieties. His paintings also alluded to African-American historical figures, including jazz musicians, sports personalities, and writers. Basquiat freely mixed themes from African, Caribbean, Aztec, and Hispanic cultures. He is known for his friendship and artistic collaboration with pop artist Andy Warhol, where they explored themes of power structures and systems of racism in New York. Tragically, Basquiat died at the early age of 27 from a drug overdose. Since his death, his work has steadily increased in value. In May of 2017, an untitled work sold for $110 million, becoming one of the most expensive paintings ever purchased. It also set a new record high for an American artist at auction. Romare Bearden experimented with a wide variety of media from watercolor to cartoons to oil paints, but he is most well known for his collages. His art pulls influences from lots of places as well and are jam-packed with references to history, art history, contemporary social issues, music, people, and places. Not only was Bearden a prolific and important artist, he was also an educator, scholar, writer, social worker, set and costume designer, cartoonist, and a World War II soldier. Ritual, music, and family are common themes in Bearden's artwork. The complexity of his works lies in their poetic abstraction. Kara Walker is a contemporary painter, silhouettist, printmaker, installation artist, and filmmaker. Her works explore race, gender, sexuality, violence, and identity. Walker showed promise as an artist at an early age. She began focusing on issues of race after she moved with her family to Georgia when she was 13. In 1997, at the age of 27, she received a John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation Genius Grant. Her work was exhibited in galleries and museums worldwide, and she served as the U.S. representative to the 2002 Sao Paulo Biennial, Biennial in Brazil. Walker also taught at the School of the Arts at Columbia University in New York City. She is best known for her room-sized installations of black cut paper silhouettes. Lois Melu Jones was an American artist and educator who painted works in a variety of styles, 
including Impressionist, Abstract, and African-influenced. Her paintings were noted for strong color and design. She came to prominence as a textile designer and fashion illustrator. Later, she painted in oil and watercolors, with an emphasis on African-American subjects. She became a professor at Howard University in 1930, where she taught painting as well as design until 1977. Jones won more than 50 awards beginning in 1940, with a first prize from the National Museum for an oil painting and including the White House Outstanding Achievement in the Arts Award presented to her by U.S. President Jimmy Carter in 1980. Pop, 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 pop. So now that we've learned about just four African-American artists, let's check out the grab-and-go bag and make some art. Hey guys, so make sure you stop into the library and pick up your grab-and-go bag that goes with this month's art club. And you'll find a few different things to let your creativity flow. So first you'll find two drawing instruction sheets that will help you replicate art by Ramir Bearden and Louis Melu Jones. Um, what did you think of their art? Did you like their style? On the two sheets that you'll find in your bag, you will find steps on how to replicate some of their drawings. So first is the Ramir Bearden. Um, you'll be able to learn how to draw this image of his. And on the back, there are very detailed instructions here. And you can color it any way that you'd like. This is just to try to teach you a little bit of his style of drawing. And then next is uh, Louis Melu Jones. This is one of her pieces. And on the back, it will show you how to replicate that artwork as well. So this would be pretty interesting and pretty fun um, and a little drawing exercise for you. Next, you'll have a scratch board and a stylus. Um, if you've never seen those before, they just look like this. It's a black um, coating that's over a piece of cardboard, and you'll also receive the stylus. And you can use this to scrawl graffiti-like images, just like Basquiat did in early in his career. So what did you think of graffiti? Um, living in the region, I know that you've probably seen Lots of graffiti on boxcar trains, and you've probably been stuck by a train many times. Um, I know that I like to look at the artwork that's um, often seen on some of those boxcars and maybe under the viaducts of bridges. Um, so what do you think of that type of public art? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Leave a comment and let me know. And then finally, you have a black sheet of construction paper. So use this to create your own silhouette art, just like Kara Walker. Um, a silhouette or a shadow can be of anything. Um, it could be a simple shape, um, an animal, or a silhouette of a person. Use your imagination, whatever you want it to be. And please, share your art with me. I miss seeing you guys here so much. Um, I hope to have you in person next month. But please, um, take a photo of your artwork and you can share it on social media. Make sure you tag it, um, Whiting Public Library, or use the hashtag WPL Grab and Go so that I can see what you did. Thank you so much for joining me again this month, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.